Team reporter Olivia Landis here joined by NFL Network's Steve Weich. Steve, just last week, the New York Jets announced that they did come to terms with former defensive coordinator for the San Francisco 49ers, Robert Sala, to become the next head coach for the New York Jets. Initially, what were some of your thoughts when hearing that Sala was going to be the next head coach for the green and white? He's one of these guys when he presents himself, he is very, uh, he's a processor. He's very analytical in terms of, you know, how he will respond to the media or to his team or to whomever, to his fellow assistant coaches. But he also has this incredible presence, right? The word I often um, use when describing things with Robert Sala and his team is aligned. The allegiance to him and his allegiance to his team um, is, is something that's unshattered. And speaking of 49ers players and people who've coached with Robert the past couple of years, it, it, it is amazing the way he gets people just on the same page to communicate, play for each other, and to play for him. Steve, when GM Joe Douglas and CEO Christopher Johnson talked about some of the qualities they were looking for in the next head coach, they mentioned the term CEO. Now, they used that term loosely, and they said that's not the one and only thing they're looking for, but that is the style they want this next head coach to be. How do you think Robert Sala will be as a CEO slash head coach for the Jets? Well, you know, the the smart teams that hire are looking for leaders, right? Because we, we look at some of the really good, promising coaches, and you say, oh, they're, well, they're play callers. They're Sean McVay. They're, they're Kyle Shanahan. They're this guy. These guys are some of the best communicators and again, this is where I give the Jets a lot of credit because so many people are like, we want the hot young play caller. Well, the hot young play caller is not always getting it done. You need a leader, somebody who can lead 53 men on a singular purpose to get them where they need to go. And that's what the Jets got with Robert Sala. And again, I have just a lot of a lot of positive feelings that with that Robert Sala is going to be a big success, probably much aligned with, you know, like how Brian Flores has done in Miami and changing a culture that needed to be changed. And now that he is going to be with the Jets, what type of culture and identity do you believe that Sala is going to try to build for the green and white? Uh, it's, it's going to be steadying initially. It is going to be, you guys are going to play hard for me. I'm going to coach hard for you. They're going to compete. And they're going to be disciplined. I mean, you look at this year, half of their defense was on injured reserve for the majority of the season and they still were top eight in almost every important category because guys knew what they were supposed to do. They understood the expectation. They remained disciplined. And then Robert Sala got them in positions to succeed. That, I think, is the initial stage that everyone on this roster will understand their purpose individually, but they'll also understand their purpose as a teammate. If you think about it from a fan's perspective and a player's perspective, what can they expect from Sala as a brand new head coach for the New York Jets. Yeah, I mean, again, he just just a very steadying force. I know the Jets would just really need to kind of fortify their building, put their arms around things, and really build things culturally inside, um, which I would, which is what I think uh, Robert has learned in his coaching career, being under people like Pete Carroll and Gus Bradley and Kyle Shanahan, and I think that will translate. He is officially the first Muslim head coach mm -hmm. in NFL history. Can you talk about the importance of what this means to the NFL and honestly just the world in general? Well, I mean, I really think it's, it's you know, one of these kind of beacons for the Muslim community. He's got a great family. He's got a wonderful wife. He created this, when I say a multitude of kids, I think he's got five, if not six. And here's a great story about Sal. He, he built this special van he paid a bunch of money and got this special like massive van that he can carry his whole family in and they can do whatever and he takes it everywhere it's one of the biggest pride and joys of his life and because his family means everything in the world to him the humility he has shown as a human being as a coach as a leader i think that is one of the going to be one of the biggest things that people will draw from him. Again, I think it's part of his faith and part of his culture and, and definitely the way he was raised. He is a great, great trailblazer in that regard.